Hey everyone, Creative Inus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial. So please subscribe to our channel and join the membership. And today we will learn this beautiful business infographic style. And this time we are using white background and this is highly corporate look and feel. So to start with the tutorial, let's first insert this small circle and make sure its height and width are same. Then insert this rounded rectangle then adjust the height and width and make sure it is completely rounded from left and right change the color and uh, align it with the circle from the left then send it to back and this is how it will look i have further increased its width duplicate it change its color again align with the circle from the left increase its transparency so that we can see the background now align middle and align left or top so we have these three shapes now two rounded rectangles and one circle and now we have inserted one more circle and you have to make sure that uh, the path for both these circles should contact and you have to place it like this and make sure you place the circle correctly then you have to subtract it from the translucent background and insert this circle and remove this remaining part as well by using the merge shapes subtract option and now you have to remove this remaining part from the right side as well for that you have to again insert the rectangle and draw it like this select the background click on the rectangle go to merge shapes press subtract and you will get this shape select the circle and this cutout press union and you will get a shape like this and now we have to fill the gradient color in the background and you'll use this color palette that we have placed here and and we have filled this dark blue color here as a gradient and you know how to fill the gradient color we are using two stops gradient now we will fill the gradient color on this shape and we will fill the second color from from the palette and use different shades of this color to create a nice gradient and you can change the direction and angles as well now apply shadow effect adjust the shadow blurness and transparency levels like this so your base shape is ready now we have to add some background here with some depth so duplicate this background shape and slightly increase its height and width and then send it to back and fill either the white color or some light gray color you have to increase its height and width so here i'm taking some time to adjust it properly and now once it is in the background you have to fill the inward shadow effect you have to align it to the middle for that you go to shape format then go to align then align middle now select this background go to shadow effect and fill inward shadow and here you have to adjust some parameters like you can change the color blurness transparency distance angle just try all these until you get the result you want so you can see this is looking really beautiful and now we will insert one circle here to place an icon here either you can place an icon or some number totally up to you so we are using only the outline of this circle white outline and then you can insert the icon here so 
so you go to insert press icon and select the desired icon and insert that icon and place it inside this circle so it's really easy change the color to white and now again duplicate this blue rounded rectangle we will create a reflection effect for that you have to insert this rectangle and then subtract it from the background so you have to place it like this select the background then select the foreground then press subtract and you will end up with the shape like this click on gradient fill white color on both the gradients and use top to bottom gradient approach fill white color on both the gradients and then increase transparency on the second gradient stop to 100 percent you have to align it properly with the blue rounded rectangle and you have to slightly adjust the transparency levels here and you can change the direction from top to bottom so here you can spend some more time to make sure it is looking fine I think some more transparency levels are required here so this is how we have created four more shapes by duplicating and just changing the color of the shape at the left now you have to insert the content here so here you can add text in the format you want either you can use headings and subheadings or only if you have some bullet points you can also use those you can add numbers in the in place of icons so you can try all these things so if you're new to our channel and you think this is something you like and it is useful for you so please subscribe to our channel and you can support us by joining the membership by clicking you can join the membership by clicking on the join button below this video and you can also hit the like button as well so just place the text on all these shapes and you can always duplicate the items and reuse the components to save time and you can be more efficient rather than inserting the text box again then you have to do all the formatting again so this is looking beautiful everything is well stacked and after that what we have to do is we have to place these in a in an order i'll show you first group all these items individually and then select the second third and fourth and move these to the right by using shift plus right arrow key like this it will take some time depending upon your system's performance then select the middle one then again move it to the right and you can see it creates a shape of a circle on the left then insert a circle and here you can be as much creative you want then you can see I have placed the final result at the, at the bottom left corner So you can fill here white gradient, apply shadow effect, increase the blurness and then transparency. So I like this style of shadow effects but you can create your own shadow styles using different colors, distance or angle approach. I always use this style where I keep the transparency around 80% and blurness around 20 to 25 points. So our circle is ready then let's insert this circle and place it at the center make sure it is aligned 
then send to back after that what we have to do is fill gray color use invert shadow like this then again change the shadow parameters again go to the insert then insert one more circle and we will place it at the center like this if it doesn't fit at the center then select all three and align yep align center then align middle now select this circle fill gradient color and we will use two stops gradient and we will fill the base color of the shapes on the right in this circle to create a gradient then apply inward shadow effect again change the shadow color to white to create a white light effect on the circles border and you can see it's coming out really nice and again duplicate the circle and place it at the center reduce its width and then you can place it like this again you have to align once it is aligned then again so I've increased its width I think it is looking much better now now again insert the circle or duplicate the white circle which we had created at the first place and then place it like this now select all these again align to the center align to the middle so what more we can do here let's go to insert yep then create an arc here on the right side this will create a very beautiful boundary here between these five points and this circle you can adjust the arc length from the yellow points there you can drag those yellow points and then change the line style or the dash type change the color as well you can fill gradient color as well and after that once it is placed you can again align to the middle it is almost ready we have to create some some circles to give it a very nice you know technical look it, it will look very technology driven chart insert this shape reduce the arc remove its outline fill gray color and you have to place it at the center make sure you place it at the center like this slightly increase size by dragging it using shift button press shift while dragging it will not change its you know uh, uh, scale and then and after that what we have to do is once we have used it once we have placed this shape here we will just duplicate it like four or five times and then place it around the circle with different height and width apply shadow effect increase the blurness transparency send to back and similarly we have to apply the shadow on the first shape as well and then you have to adjust the shadow parameters here like increase the blurness then transparency levels and the size again the steps are repetitive and and once it is done you just have to duplicate it across the circle in different sizes 
and you will get the final output so i hope you like this design so please subscribe to our channel join the membership to support us and like this video and download this template from the g drive link provided in the video description so we will see you guys in our next video till then bye bye have a nice day